Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll dive into designing a workflow specifically tailored for the employee onboarding process. Let's get started. Step 1. Creating the Employee Onboarding Workflow Within the Process tab, you have the flexibility to create a new BPM workflow or select from existing system BPM templates. For this tutorial, we'll utilize an existing BPM workflow template for employee onboarding. Fantastic! We now have our employee onboarding workflow ready for customization. Step 2. Understanding the workflow components. Let's examine the key sections that make up this workflow. The applicant state listener captures the state of the application and maintains a history for reference. Next, we have the PN form data pipeline listener, responsible for passing specific variables from form B to the formula. And finally, the form B filter data pipeline filters task variables from form B to the command. Step 3. User task configuration. Now let's focus on the user task section, which includes form fields and a task business. The task listeners section updates the applicant status based on the actions performed by HR. Step 4. Understanding workflow actions. The action section encompasses various conditions, such as application approval and return, each explained individually. For example, the script section captures the send back value available to HR. The Form B filter data pipeline captures task variables from Form B, while the EP form data pipeline passes data from Form B to the formula. The application state listener handles the application state throughout the process. The form submission updates the submission data based on the actions performed. The follow send mail section sets up email notifications, including subject, body, and recipient details. Finally, the submit section executes the submission, completing the workflow cycle. Step 5. Handling resubmissions. In case of resubmission, the resubmit section sets the application status to resubmit and updates the submission data accordingly. The follow resubmit state section ensures the application status and submission data are accurately updated. The form submission updates the submission data once again, completing the resubmission process.